you all welcome to workshop technology sadhyan we are discussing about the thread cutting screw thread cutting on lathe machine today also we are continuing with this topic okay then uh, in the last class we discussed about the uh, basics of this uh, thread cutting operation uh, in thread cutting operation the, we have to synchronize uh, spindle rotation with the saddle movement Okay, we have to interrelate these uh, two motions. One is the rotary motion, one is the linear motion. This is done using the uh, lead screw and the gear tray. Okay, then the the lead screw is used to convert the rotary motion to a linear motion, which is which is connected to the sandal. Okay, to the half nut. Then the uh, spindle and the lead screw is connected to the gear tray. The two types of uh, gear trays uh, used for this uh, to do uh, for this connection. The one is a simple gear tray, other one is the uh, compound gear tray. The smaller gear ratio is obtained using the, the simple gear tray. The larger gear ratio is obtained through the compound gear tray. These calculations, calculations regarding to this uh, simple gear tray and also the compound gear tray, we discuss in the last class in detail. Okay. Today we are discussing, we are going to discuss how to cut a thread uh, on a lathe machine, then how to arrange the gear train to cut the certain uh, pitch value. Then we are also discussing in this lecture how to chase the previous thread in thread cutting operation. Okay, these topics we are going to discuss in uh, today's uh, lecture. Okay, let's move to the uh, today's uh, theory. Okay, okay uh, last class we discussed about the uh, basics of the thread cutting operation. In thread cutting operation, here this is the diagram we are going to uh, discuss. The cutting tool, the workpiece, uh, half nut. Half nut can uh, engage and disengage whatever using the lever uh, to a lead screw. To the lead screw we can engage and disengage. Then this is the gear train. This is represents the gear train. Here it is a simple gear train. What is the relationship we have to develop in thread cutting operation? Per one revolution, per one revolution of the spindle, that means per one revolution of the workpiece, the tool have to move by pitch value. There is the relationship we have to develop. That is done using by connecting the by using the lead screw and the gear train. Okay. Uh, we are going to develop the connection in between the spindle shaft and the lead screw shaft through the gear train, the simple gear train and the compound gear train used for this purpose. Well, then, uh, last class we obtained this uh, equation also, uh, which to be cut uh, lead screw turns, uh, spindle turns. Okay, then, uh, yeah, last class we obtained this uh, equation also. Uh, pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the lead screw is equal uh, lead screw turns divided by the uh, spindle turns. The, let me obtain the equations uh, for this one also. Okay. <coughs> how to obtain this uh, equation? How we obtain this equation? Uh, pitch to be cut. This is the equation uh, the last class obtained this equation which to be cut divided by pitch of the lead screw. Which of the least screw is equal to uh, least screw turns that means the least screw uh, rpm speed divided by speed turns. So here it is uh, turns mean uh, you can take it as a RPM or whatever the speed or number of revolutions for certain uh, 
in between certain time okay then uh, we can uh, further uh, develop this equation let's take this is the driver wheel okay from the actually the Ford motor is uh, power is generated in the, this power is uh, given to this uh, spindle shaft okay then other drivers are uh, taken the power from the spindle shaft okay so then uh, here is the driver this is the driven if it is a simple gear train if it is a simple gear train what is the relationship between the driver teeth and the driven teeth you already know this uh, relationship because uh, last class we discussed about in detail about the simple gear train so then uh, what is the relationship between the driver teeth and the driven teeth how we can relate in this uh, here that is equal to that is equal to what here is middle that is equal to driver teeth divide by driven teeth driven here is the disc group okay, this is the relationship okay then we can develop the uh, final equation uh, we want pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the leaf screw pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the Which of the least screw is equal driver teeth divided by driven teeth okay this uh, this thing uh, actually you already know the intermediate gears are does not affected to the gear ratio the intermediate gears are does not affected to the gear ratio that's why we are taking this uh, equation this is the equation we are going to use to for our calculations. Okay. The pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the leaf screw is equal driver teeth divided by driven teeth. Here it is a driver mean spindle shaft. Then here is the driven mean uh, leaf screw shaft. Okay. Then the then let's uh, take the example from the from this uh, problem. Example from this uh, problem. Let's take the simple example from this uh, problem. Let's uh, try to first try to work out this example problem. See the problem we are going to discuss. Uh, Okay, calculate the gears for cutting the following screws on the lathe with the least screw of the 6 mm. The least screw uh, pitch value is given 6 mm in pitch. The 3 mm pitch, the how to call the 3 mm, the 1.75 mm, uh, and the 0.8 mm pitch, uh, the 6.25 mm pitch. Okay, then uh, let's take the. Okay. And let's see how to solve this problem. Okay, the example the first one A 3 millimeter pitch. Okay, 3 millimeter pitch. How to cut the uh, 3 millimeter pitch with uh, our least screw? Uh, pitch value is equal. E screw pitch value is equal 6 mm. Using the 6 mm, how to cut the 3 mm pitch? Let's see how to do that one. The, you can directly use this uh, develop P equation. Okay, for the de develop P equation, 
पीस टू बी कट पीस टू बी कट डिवाइडेड बाय द पीस ऑफ द लीज स्क्रू स्क्रू इज इक्वल ड्राइवर स्पीक driver's teeth divided by driven teeth okay this is the equation we are going to use uh, to solve this problem then uh, here what is the piece to be cut here what is the piece to be cut 3 mm what is the piece of the leaf screw 6 mm so then the driver's teeth divided by uh, driven teeth is equal 3 to 6 Uh, ratio. Then uh, to obtain this ratio, we have to select gears from the gear bank. Okay, keep remember to obtain this gear ratio. You can see uh, this is the gear uh, uh, ratio we want for the driver teeth to driven teeth. This uh, teeth ratio we have to obtain from the by selecting the gears from the gear bank with the older type. Uh, late machine the gear bag is coming set of gears are coming starting from the 20 teeth starting from the 20 teeth up to 120 teeth gear will start coming okay in a five step teeth interval that mean 20 25 teeth 30 teeth like up to 120 teeth the gear bag is coming then uh, to obtain this uh, teeth ratio you can select any two gavs which gives this ratio no problem you can select oh easily you can select 30 teeth and the 60 teeth it's okay the answer is is the one by connecting this uh, this uh, two gavs To the spindle shaft and the uh, leaf screw shaft, we can cut the three millimeter piece. So I will draw the gear train also. I will draw the gear train also. Then the driver's teeth thirty, driven teeth sixty. So I will draw the gear train also. Okay. Then uh, you can more understand about this one. Okay. You can understand about this one. Okay. Then. Uh, Let's take this the work piece. Okay. Then uh, this is the chuck. Then uh, I will do the clean tool also. See the clean tool. Then uh, this is the half nut. Half nut. Then this is the leaf screw. I'll do the leaf screw also. Just like this. Okay, this is the leaf screw shaft. This is the. Spindle shaft. These two is connected. Uh, we can use the simple gear train to connect these two. The driver's teeth. What teeth? The driver teeth is a thirty. Driver teeth thirty. Then this one is sixty. This one is sixty teeth. Okay. Okay. Then uh, this is thirty uh, uh, teeth. This is sixty uh, teeth. Then to connect uh, these two, you can use the any number of uh, uh, any gear wheel having the any number of teeth. Any convenient number of teeth you can use. Okay. Any teeth. The teeth. Any 
number of teeth you can you, then in the last class we we discuss uh, the intermediate gear does not affect to the gear ratio so that why uh, the any number of teeth you can use for this intermediate gear so then what is the relationship then uh, this is rotating in this direction this is uh, rotating uh, if this is uh, rotating in this direction this is uh, rotating in this direction this is rotating in this direction okay same direction then what happen for one revolution what happen let's take i will explain this one also then uh, okay okay then uh, per one revolution for one revolution of the uh, leaf screw what happen the saddle moves by 6 mm okay while moving the cutting tool in 6 mm this one have to produce the two revolutions because the piece to be cut is 3 mm that mean the number of turn should be twice for one revolution of the leaf screw okay so one revolution of the leaf screw that's why we are using the 60 teeth in here that's why we are using 30 teeth in here why the relation while rotating because uh, this is a uh, i'll draw the uh, pitch in here also here it is a uh, 3 mm pitch uh, to be cut but in our leaf screw having 6 mm like something like this something like this you can see the two uh, pitch are in uh, that mean uh, when the one pitch uh, you can see uh, the pitch is uh, double the if the leaf screw is 6 mm then it is 3 mm the it is uh, the leaf screw pitch is double the pitch to be cut so that while rotating this uh, one revolution when when uh, leaf screw produce the one revolution this one should produce the two revolutions because uh, there is a two pitch inside this 6 mm there is a theory in uh, uh, thread cut enumeration so let's uh, try to work out the second uh, problem also second problem uh, what is the piece to be cut the second problem what is the piece to be cut there is equal to the p uh, 1.75 mm 1.75 mm okay in this time piece to be cut is in this time piece to be cut is b piece to be cut divided by the pitch of the leaf screw okay what is the equation driver teeth driver teeth divided by driven teeth okay then uh, what is the piece to be cut piece to be cut is equal 1.75 mm pitch of the leaf screw is equal 6 6 mm okay then uh, we have to uh, find the gears from the available uh, gear bearing so then uh, then how to find the gear uh, ratio for this one then uh, we multiply it by uh, let me take the uh, 1.75 into Seven five into twelve, so twenty one into six. Uh, yeah, twelve uh, into six, twenty two. 
Well, let me take the this ratio, then we can arrange the seventy five divided by six hundred. Okay, no problem. So then, uh, if we divide the one point seven five, uh, if we divide the entire the numerator and denominator by the five, so what we are getting in the upper, we are getting uh, thirty five. Then uh, for this one. Hundred twenty, okay. Hundred twenty. Then uh, for the given J will, if we take the hundred twenty, we have to select for the JN will. Then the driver J will, we have to take the thirty five. Okay, we have to take the thirty five. Okay. Then uh, if we can, uh, we can draw the J train also. This is the driver teeth. Driver J V, then the intermediate J, intermediate J, use the separate color. Intermediate J, okay. Then the hundred and twenty D J V. Hundred and twenty D J V, the thirty five D J V. You can take any uh, number of teeth. Uh, for the intermediate JV. Okay, this is the second one. Let me take the the more complex one. Okay. Then uh, C. C. The pitch to be cut is the problem is uh, we have to cut the eight millimeter pitch with the six millimeter leaf screw. So what is the pitch to be cut? Pitch to be cut is equal zero point eight. Pitch of the leaf screw is equal six. It is equal driver's teeth divided by driver's teeth divided by uh, driven driven okay driven teeth. Then uh, how to arrange uh, the gear train for this uh, situation? So let me take uh, eight into sixty. Then uh, the let me multiply by it, uh, two sixteen and hundred and twenty. Okay. In this situation, you can see that we can't obtain this gear ratio with available gears because this is the maximum uh, number of teeth uh, we are having. The J wheel that uh, having the maximum number of teeth, but uh, this, this is the minimum uh, J wheel we need. But available minimum J wheel teeth is equal to 20 teeth from the J band. So we can't obtain this uh, J ratio using the simple J trade. So that we have to use the compound J trade to obtain this J ratio. Okay, essentially. Okay. In that way, we have to we can write this uh, ratio. In that way. The sixty, uh, hundred twenty, then uh, then uh, yeah, this one we can write the eight into sixty is equal four into two divided by. Ten into six, okay. That uh, that is forty, uh, hundred, twenty into sixty. Okay. This is the compound gear train. This is the compound gear train. So whatever the uh, you may get uh, different uh, gear bees because we have the different uh, number of gear tra gear train. Uh, you can use uh, that one also. Uh, this is one of the possible gear train. There may be a several possible gear trains. Okay, there may be a several possible gear trains, but this is one of the uh, possible gear train. I will draw the gear train also here. Is the gear train is the forty, which is connected to the hundred T gear wheel.
கோடி டி ஜேவில் தென் ஹண்ட்ரட் டி ஜேவில் ஹண்ட்ரட் டி ஜேவில் தென் ஆன் த சேம் ஷாஃப்ட் த டுவெண்ட்டி டி ஜேவில் ஆல்சோ மவுண்டன் திஸ் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி டி ஜேவில் தென் த அவுட்புட் இஸ் டேக்கன் ஃப்ரம் த சிக்ஸ்டி டி ஜேவில் சிக்ஸ்டி டி ஜேவி திஸ் இஸ் த ஸ்பினல் ஷாஃப்ட் இது தி ஸ்பினல் ஷாஃப்ட் ஓகே இது தி ஸ்பினல் ஷாஃப்ட் திஸ் இஸ் லீஸ் குரூஷா ஓகே லீஸ் ரூ ஷாப் திஸ் இஸ் ஹவ் யூ ஆர் ஃபெனிங் த திஸ் இஸ் ஹவ் யூ ஆர் யூஸிங் த கம்பவுண்ட் ஜியர் ட்ரெயின் டு கிட் த ரிக்வார்ட் ஜியர் ஏஷியோ ரிக்வார்ட் த Okay, let's take the last, uh, last one also. Let's take the last one also. Then, uh, in the last one, uh, pitch to be cut is uh, D. Pitch to be cut is uh, 6.25 mm. 6.25 mm. What is our equation? What is our equation? Pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the D screw. Driver's teeth divided by driven teeth. Okay. Then in this situation the pitch to be cut is equal to 6.25. millimeter then the pitch of the leaf screw is equal 6 okay then if you multiply by 4 you can uh, directly multiply by it uh, 4 6.25 into 6 six, 6.25 uh, 25 24 24 then uh, then uh, we can write in this way 5 into 5 uh, 6 into 4 the 50 uh, 50 60 and 40 the is it can we use uh, this uh, ratio it seems okay no the 50 divided by 60 50 divided by 40 so we can't because uh, we are having we are having only one a uh, 50 teeth gear wheel on the gear bank keep remember that one also we are having only one 50 teeth gear wheel on the bank from the bank but uh, we can't use the two we can't repeat the gvs the gear train okay keep remember that one also okay we can't repeat the gear uh, train then uh, how to arrange this one then uh, this is uh, yeah let's take uh, 5 in 6 into 50 into 40 the 5 Uh, if we multiply by the 25 into 6 uh, right 50 uh, 5 into 50 the 75 yeah is equal to 75 then i am going to multiply 6 by the 15 no so 90 into 50 divided by 40 this is one of the possible one of the possible gear train we can use to cut the 6.25 mm 
with the uh, six millimeter leaf screw. Okay, there may be a uh, several possible gear trains. Okay, there may be a uh, several possible gear trains, but anyhow, the we can't repeat the JBs, and also we have to finally we have to obtain this ratio. Okay, that is the important thing. I think you all more clear with this uh, use of uh, this uh, selecting a gear train to cut the given pitch value. Okay, then uh, let's see uh, empirical coordinate to ISO uh, metric coordinate conversion. That means the English slate machines. The English slate machines mean uh, English slate machine uses inches measuring system. Okay, inches inches measuring system. Okay. English uh, inch inch system to metric conversion. metric conversion okay that mean uh, sorry okay the english uh, inches system that mean uh, the english uh, lathe machine uses the inches uh, machine system that mean british lathe machines are uh, at the with the development of uh, industrial revolution the, the most of the machine tools are manufactured in uh, europe countries uh, especially the German and the British so the British rate machines are more uh, extremely popular in the industry in uh, early days so that uh, the English uh, lathe machines uses the inches measuring system but in uh, later on uh, metric measuring system is introduced then uh, there's a problem came how to cut the uh, metric uh, thread metric thread on a English lathe machine or oh, other way how to cut the uh, inches thread that means the English thread on a metric lathe machine then uh, this is the thing uh, we are going to uh, discuss on next uh, okay before going to this one uh, let me take uh, this uh, if you take a uh, one inch if you take a uh, one inch how many millimeters are there one inch what is the how to say it in millimeters one inch in millimeters one in, in, uh, in uh, millimeters what is the value that uh, that is equal to 25.4 millimeters okay that is equal to 25.4 millimeters okay then uh, then uh, if we take uh, this ratio then uh, to convert to a whole number this uh, 25 point to convert to a whole number in uh, what is the value we have to multiply hmm? what is the value we have to multiply if we uh, multiply it by the you can you can see if we multiply it by the 5 if you multiply it by 25 point into 4 multiply it by the 5 we are getting uh, 127 that is the whole number okay if you are having the ratio 1 over 25.4 then uh, this ratio we can obtain by taking the 5 and 127 okay then this is the this is odd number is coming uh, actually is a prime number is coming for our calculation 127 okay that means this ratio this ratio we have to obtain uh, in this conversion actually in this conversion we have to obtain this ratio later on when doing the example you can more clear 
the we have to obtain this ratio when you are going to obtain this ratio this is how we are obtaining we are taken the 5 and 127 you can see this is a prime number so that we have to essentially need 127 teeth JV for this conversion okay keep remember with the J bank especially the 127 JV is coming okay J bank is equipped with uh, starting from the 20 teeth in a 5 step teeth interval 25 teeth 30 teeth like up to 120 teeth and it is also contained equipped with 127 teeth JV also especially for this conversion okay especially for this conversion okay then uh, I will explain this uh, through the uh, our uh, equation our equation what is our equation which to be cut which to be cut divided by the pitch of the disc group is equal driver's teeth divided by driven teeth driver teeth divided by driven teeth okay then uh, what happened pitch to be cut let's take it as the pitch to be cut is uh, I am I'm, I'm going to use this pitch to be cut C cut pitch of the D screw pitch of the D screw P L okay P L here pitch to be cut the pitch to pitch to be cut P C in millimeters okay then the pitch of the D screw in inches okay then this is the then I uh, will write this one also driver teeth divided by driven teeth okay okay then the PC then uh, we have to to get the uh, correct ratio we have to convert to a one unit okay uh, we can't take the, this ratio as in this way because the uh, different units are there millimeter and the inches we have to convert one unit pl we have to multiply this one by 25.4 okay 25.4 okay then uh, here is a decimal value so to convert to a whole number what you have to do we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by the 5 5 c divided by pl 127 so that what it means pc pl into 5 divided by 127 okay in this situation we have to substitute this is in inches this is in inches this is in millimeters this is in millimeters okay then uh, according to this we can arrange the gear train driver teeth divided by driven teeth okay driven teeth then uh, this is how we are uh, cut metric thread metric thread on a english lathe machine okay same thing we can do for the uh, how to cut the inches thread on a metric lathe machine also okay before going to that one uh, let's uh, take the example to uh, example from this one okay let's take the example from this one okay let's understand this one through the example 
determine the suitable gears for cutting the following screws on a lathe lee screw of 4 TPI 3 mm pitch, 1.75 mm pitch, 8 mm pitch and uh, 7.5 mm pitch okay. This is the problem uh, we are having The first we have to understand uh, here what is the TPI Here the, it is mean that 4 TPI 4 TPI mean For TPI mean uh, okay, let's take uh, this way. Uh, the four TPI mean four thread per inch. If we take a one inch length, it having the four threads. Okay, in a one inch length, it having the four threads. If we take the uh, let's take the this screw, it's a uh, Square shape uh, thread profiles are there. Okay, I think you all have seen this. Uh, these screw, all, you all doing the workshop uh, practicals. Okay, then uh, here it is the uh, uh, one piece. Another pitch value, another one, one, two, three, four. When it comes to this position, this length is equal to this length is equal to uh, one inch. This length is equal to one inch. You can see the four threads are there. One, two, three, and the four. Okay. Four threads are there. Okay, then this is the P, this is P, P, P. If we take the pitch, the pitch of the screw is, is equal 1 over 4 is equal to the pitch. That means 1 over 4 inch. Okay, then I think all clear with this uh, TPI. What is with the TPI? That is very important to understand this one. Okay, let's take the first one, the how to cut 3 millimeter pitch uh, using the is an English lathe machine. The English lathe machine uses the uh, empirical uh, measuring system that means uh, inches uh, measuring system is used. Okay, inches measuring system is used. Okay, then uh, same equation we are using the pitch to be cut. So A uh, pitch to be cut. <coughs> Pitch to be cut divided by pitch of the leaf screw is equal driver teeth driver teeth divided by driven teeth. Okay, then what is the pitch to be cut? Pitch to be cut is 3 millimeter. Okay, 3 millimeter. Then pitch of the leaf screw, pitch of the leaf screw is equal, the, that means the 4 TPI, 4 TPI mean uh, 1 divided by 4 is the pitch value, 1 divided by 4 in inches. Okay, the driver is divided by divided. Then this ratio we have to convert to a 1 unit. The denominator and numerator, the unit should be same. So then the three millimeter, then one over four. I am going to multiply by twenty five point four. Okay, twenty five point four. Then how to convert to a twenty five point four to a whole number? Three into five divided by one over four into hundred and twenty seven. Okay. Then other gear train, other gears we have to select by keeping this uh, value as, uh, as it is. From the other gear will you have to select to get the required ratio. Then uh, if you multiply by 120, 
the uh, the twelve twelve into uh, five into one divided by hundred and twenty seven. Okay, hundred and twenty seven. Then let's take a uh, hundred and twenty divided by ten into five divided by hundred and twenty seven. Okay. Then this ratio we can re uh, rearrange again is equal the hundred twenty to hundred and twenty seven into for the five we can put the uh, multiply by 4 that means uh, 5 into 4 is equal to 20 the same thing we have to do with the 14 then this is the j trend we can use 120 127 22 40 this is a possible uh, j trend there may be a uh, uh, different uh, possible j trends also there uh, this is one of the possible J train. This is one of the possible J train. Okay. That is uh, one of the possible gear trend. Uh, we can represent this uh, gear trend on a. Uh, I will draw the gear trend also. Then this is uh, 120 gear wheel on the spindle. Okay. Then uh, this uh, this is connected to the 127 gear wheel. The compound gear trend we have essentially used for this one. This is 120 gear wheel, 127 gear wheel, then, uh, then the uh, 20 and the 40. This is the uh, 20 teeth gear wheel, then the 40 teeth gear wheel. For the GV. This is the uh, compound gear train we have used for to cut the uh, this pitch value. Well, let's take the uh, next one. Uh, what is the next uh, pitch value we have to cut? Let's take the 7.5 last one, uh, then other problems you can uh, try it at home. Then uh, I will take the last one, D. The D is uh, 7.5 millimeter uh, pitch we have to cut on the English lathe machine. Uh, the pitch to be cut. Pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the least screw. Screw is equal uh, driver teeth driver teeth divided by driven teeth. Okay. The pitch to be cut 7.5 millimeter. The pitch of the least screw uh, 1 over 4 in inches. Then this says we have to convert the 7.5 millimeter. Then uh, 1 over 4 we have to multiply by 25.4 in millimeters. So then we are getting uh, 7.5 1 over 4 5 into 127. Okay, 127. Then uh, 7.5 if we multiply by 7.5 we 
into 4 30 we are getting the 30 30 divided by 1 into 5 divided by 127 then how to get the uh, value for this one 30 into 5 uh, how to get this one So we can use uh, this way uh, 30 into then uh, here it is uh, let's take uh, we are going to multiply by 20 20 into here the 20 it is 100 uh, 20, yeah. 127 and this is the jet train we can use one of the possible one of the possible year train okay, if we uh, then this is the year train we can use for this one this, then uh, if we draw the uh, year train we can draw in this way 100 teeth for the spindle shaft then the 127 is meshing with this one it is a little bit larger than the this 100 teeth 127 teeth gear then the compound gear train we are using then 30 to 20 this is the 30 teeth gear wheel then uh, is the smaller gear wheel 20 teeth 20 teeth this is 30. Here the gear train compound gear train we can use to cut the uh, this uh, gear. Okay. Then uh, then this is how we are how we can cut uh, uh, millimeter pitch millimeter pitch on a English lathe machine. That means inches lathe machine. Then next problem is how to cut the inches thread on a uh, millimeter metric lathe machines okay then let's understand uh, i think you all more familiar with this uh, conversion then uh, we can uh, directly go to the example problem then uh, you can understand through the example problem so let's take this is the example problem we are going to discuss uh, Determine the suitable gear train to cut the following screws on a lee screw of 6 mm pitch. Lee screw of 6 mm pitch. Okay. In here, okay. Then uh, what is the pitch to be cut? A. Uh, what is the pitch to be cut? Pitch to be cut. Pitch to be cut. Divided the pitch of the leaf screw. Pitch of the leaf screw is equal. Mm, driver teeth. Driver teeth. Divided by driven teeth. What is the pitch to be cut? A. The pitch to be cut is 8 TPI. 8 TPI means 1 over 8 inches. Then uh, pitch of the leaf screw 6 millimeter. Then we have to convert to a 1 uh, unit. This ratio we have to convert to a 1 unit. So then uh, 1 over 8 we have to multiply by 25 point. Four. Then uh, six. Uh, both the side we are going to multiply by five. Then we are getting hundred twenty-seven here. Then here it is uh, five uh, into six uh, thirty. 
then uh, 1 over 8 1 over 8 into then uh, this ratio we can write in this way also uh, 127 into 1 the 8 into 240 then uh, the 240 we can write uh, the, yeah, 30 into sorry 127 into 1 uh, let me take in this way into 30 then uh, then uh, 10 into 80 is equal 127 into 20 into 80 into 60 one of the possible uh, gear train either one of the possible gear train for this one uh, one of the possible gear train 127 divided by 80 20 divided by 60 one of the possible gear train 127 divided by 80 into 20 divided by 60 the gear train okay then uh, let's take the last one so let's take the last one the uh, last one is the uh, 2.5 Two and quarter, two and quarter. Uh, the fish have to cut. Two and quarter fish have to cut. Two and quarter. And how to cut the two and quarter fish? The last one. The I will take the last one. The C. Then uh, B part you can uh, do it at home. Yeah. The fish to be cut. Pitch to be cut divided by the pitch of the least screw. Driver teeth divided by driven teeth. The pitch to be cut, where is the pitch to be cut? Two and quarter. Uh, the TPI, you know, yeah, so one over two and quarter uh, in the pitch to be cut in inches. Pitch of the leaf screw is equal six millimeter. Then this uh, we have to convert uh, this one into a ratio. Then uh, two and quarter mean uh, eight uh, nine by nine by four divided by 1 that means uh, 4 divided by 9 the 4 divided by 9 divided by 6 okay into 25.4 you have to convert to 1 unit then uh, this ratio is equal the 4 into 127 then uh, 9 into 6 into 5 okay then uh, 4 divided by 9 uh, 127 divided by 30 okay then uh, 40 divided by 90 into 127 divided by 30 this is one of the possible gear train we can use to cut this gear, uh, pitch okay. Either one of the possible gear train.